bladder cancer arises or urothelial carcinoma arises from the urinary tract. This could be from the kidneys, from the ureters, from the bladder. For patients who are metastatic, chemotherapy is a standard of care for frontline treatment. Unfortunately, durable survivals are not common. About 5% of patients will survive five years with systemic chemotherapy. Thus, uh, for second line treatment, options are needed. Chemotherapy itself as a second line treatment generally gives a median survival of about seven months. And in the laboratory, we found that an anti-angiogenesis agent called ramisuramab, which targets VEGFR2, has uh, activity in combination with docetaxel. In fact, it's synergistic and showed in animal models uh, better outcomes than docetaxel alone. So we, we went forth with a randomized phase two, which we published in 2016, which demonstrated a doubling of the progression-free survival when patients were treated with ramisuramab and docetaxel compared to docetaxel alone. Thus, the RANGE trial came out of that initial study, which randomized patients to ramisuramab at 10 milligrams per kilogram combined with docetaxel, uh, and that compared it to docetaxel at 75 milligrams per meter squared. These were patients with locally advanced or unresectable metastatic bladder cancer. They had to progress within 14 months of their prior chemotherapy, and they were permitted to receive prior immune checkpoint therapy. The other reason for this trial is the fact that uh, we do see dramatic responses with immune therapy, but that's only about 25% of patients, so alternative treatments are needed to be uh, developed for this state of disease. This is the primary endpoint, progression-free survival, as assessed by the investigators. As we see here, the median progression-free survival for the combination therapy was 4.07 months, uh, compared to 2.76 months for those patients who received docetaxel alone. When we look at this from an independent blinded assessment, we see a very, very similar pattern, a median survival of 4.0, progression-free survival, excuse me, of 4.04 months, and a, uh, for the ribosuramab and docetaxel, and 2.46 months for the combination therapy. Uh, as we see at, at uh, one year, 11.9% of patients were without progression versus 4.5% of patients uh, in the uh, control arm with docetaxel alone. Uh, these are the objective responses. We've seen approximately a doubling of the objective response rate uh, when ribosuramab and docetaxel are combined uh, and compared to Docetax alone, a 4.2% complete response rate in the uh, combination arm compared to a 1.4% res uh, complete response rate in the uh, monotherapy arm. Now, despite uh, administration of a second drug, we really did not see any degradation of the quality of life parameters that we measured either by the EORT CQLC C30 or the EQ uh, 5D 5L index. And again, as we see consistently throughout all cycles, uh, patients seem to maintain their quality of life when ramisuramab was added to docetaxel. Thus, we conclude that RANGE is the first phase three trial to demonstrate a progression-free survival advantage over chemotherapy alone in platinum refractory advanced or metastatic urothelial carcinoma. Most patients uh, are, were poor prognosis, 61% had at least two uh, adverse prognostic risk factors at baseline. So this is a sick group of patients. Uh, the progression-free survival outcomes were consistent across a variety of different patient subgroups. And the trial is designed to look at an overall survival secondary endpoint, and that is still maturing at this particular time. As I mentioned before, there's a doubling of the objective response rate. We did not see additive toxicity with the combination, and this is a new treatment option for the treatment of patients with platinum refractory metastatic urothelial carcinoma. So I thank you for your attention.